those times when I feel close to from all that I could become. Eager but too scared to climb. Wanted to please my friends, but it felt like the end. Hey guys, I'm G Loves Trains, and welcome to Exploring North Wales by Train where it's going to be my aim to visit every single train station in North Wales. I'm super duper excited to get going. It's time for day one! It is stunning, stunning, stunning. I am on a beautifully modern Transport for Wales Class 150 and it's always really refreshing riding these because I'm so used to the Northern 150s. Today I am off down the Borderlands line calling at Hawarden Bridge, Shotton, Hawarden, Buckley, Pennyforth, Hope and Kabul. This 150 is 150 235 and they are also really good for heavenly back massages. It's always a heart stopping moment when the conductor doesn't come down on a train that you need to get off at a request stop, but the train stops anyway. I'm just going to start by saying it is freezing. I have got an uncountable amount of layers on and I think it's about time I stop carrying my coat and actually put it on. A massive smile just emerged on my face when I heard the TFW announcements. I'm at Hawarden Bridge. It is a request stop. It's a Transport for Wales station. It's got two platforms. It's got shelters on either platform and surprisingly dot matrixes as well. There is a remarkable looking bridge over there which caught my eye immediately and I am going to go and walk right alongside the railway line. Turns out that pathway is closed at the moment but I'm going to go down here instead. Is that the Bridge of Hawarden? The actual Hawarden Bridge? It runs over the River Dee. I've only been to one station so far and already North Wales has been summed up. It is stunning and if we were able to cross over the bridge there we could have, for the fun of it, walked to Shotton Station, the next one along, and back because it's literally just over there. And coming along this path, I know you don't know this about me but I am actually an e-biker and it's putting me in the mood to bring my bike here because it is just full of cyclists and people on e-scooters. <laughs> I didn't even notice this was here at first glance. I was too busy looking at the bridge. There's a barrow crossing. I'm going to cross it. Me and the furry swinging from the tree are awaiting our next train. Although I don't think they'll be getting on it. And I did get up really early this morning, 3 a.m. because I needed to get these morning trains as Hawarden Bridge only sees a limited train service. And there's nothing around the station that actually indicates that this is a request stop, but I am under the impression that it is. So I am going to stick out my hand. This is so much fun to do. And we're getting on a refurbished 150. It's 150 282. thing when I was looking up Shotton on the map it came up as two separate stations I'm thinking it's to segregate out the high level with the low level and this is actually the first ever station I've been to which has a high and a low level we've just got off the train on the high level because we're riding down the Borderlands line of course and if you were to get a train from the low level it would take you around the gorgeous North Wales coastline you can actually see the other end of Hawarden Bridge. I told you it would have been walkable. And this part, platforms Tri a Pedwa, the Welsh you and me coming out, is actually staffed. Just 
just to point out the low level isn't directly beneath the high level it is a good few minutes walk to get here there is a lot of modern stuff here as you enter the station you are met with a ticket machine which does have something rude drawn on it and we've got some bike racks and overall at Shotton you will find four platforms and TFW trains I would have said the low level would be better for filming trains at probably because there's more variety but on the way back up to the high level then I did actually see a 66 pass if they didn't have cheese on I so would have eaten those sorry what I've just realized you can move directly between levels I did not see that before <laughs> Just got off 150.235. I think it is going to be the same two 150s taking me down this route today. And I'm at Hawarden. It's not got a bridge. Well, it's got a footbridge and there's a bridge over there. But it's not Hawarden Bridge. Hello? British in who is left? Uh, excuse me, where do you think we are? Wales? Hawarden is a transport for Wales station and it's got two platforms. It's also got some brown benches and a barrow crossing. Hawaria then Hawarden. The track goes uphill from here. It makes a lovely view. sign is a little bit deceiving because it almost looks like it's trying to get you to go up the stairs to Wrexham when it's actually trying to tell you that this is the platform for Wrexham. I'm having a little stroll down the street that the station's on and it's mostly houses but it is a charming little place. I love listening to the TFW announcements at the stations and on the trains and I am due a massive wee right now I'm on 150.282 I'm at Buckley, have I got a book on me? No I haven't Buckley's got two platforms and TFW trains and I get the feeling that not just every station today but every station within this series possibly is going to have TFW trains <laughs> which is just heaven for me there is a class 230 train behind me which I have never seen running before one way to get out of the station is down here it does look like a back entrance <laughs> and the other way is over the barrow crossing and this does already look like far more of a main entrance there is an interesting looking building on platform E, which also looks like it's having work done to it but it's got a Buckley Junction sign it's got a bench with Buckley written on it and it's got an LNER wheelbarrow So what came pulling into Buckley, and I should have known this because I saw it going back up to Bidstone, of course it was 150, 235. Yeah, Pen of Forth is run by Transport for Wales, it's got two platforms and I was very surprised to see when I stepped off the train, it's got a signal box. I'm seeing what's in Penafor. So far, a field of sheep and a big roundabout. There is quite a sweet outdoorsy view from the station and I can feel a blister on my toe. It's my right, my right foot, not my big toe, the one next to it. <laughs> 
that the train did just come back, pull up on the platform and then leave. I think they're just testing it. I'm back on 142282. There was a humongous step up onto the train just then. I've always hoped to be at this station. Actually, I didn't know it existed. But I'm at Hope. It's got two platforms, TFW trains, and I have noticed immediately that the view has upped significantly from Penneforth. On entry into the shelter, I've noticed there are no seats. In fact, in looking around, there are no seats anywhere at Hope Station. <laughs> I will be standing for the whole hour because of course, it is an hour wait as it has been at all the stations today. The services down from Bidston to Wrexham are hourly. Seriously, how has somebody got up on top of that shelter to write a word? Also, platform E not only is used by people getting onto trains, I have seen in an absolute abundance now dog walkers keep passing me by because it's situated on some sort of a walking route and Penradishian Hope Radishian Roish Nickers Arish Pen Radish Roish Nickers Arish Pen Radishian Roish Nickers Arish Pen Pen Radishian Hope Radish Roish Nickers Arish Pen Ag Radishi Gwithi Just got off the final train, which was also the first train we were on, 150 235, and I'm now at Kagool. Sounds like Kagool. I'm sure that's something else, isn't it? What's a Kagool? Anyway, whatever it's called, I'm here. It looks a very hilly place around here, so. It's a good job they've got a bike rack over there. The there is a lovely view to the side of me and there is some flowing water down there too. And as for the station itself, Transport for Wales runs Kagool and it's got two platforms. I was gonna go and have a look at Kagool Castle, however, this pathway is closed off. It's been a very enjoyable first day. It's gone very windy now. And I will just tell you as well why I decided to come and make this series. I was having a ride to Hollyhead and was absolutely mesmerized by the North Wales coastline. And I just knew from then that I wanted to go to those stations. And over time, naturally, I've found myself more and more daydreaming about doing this series so it made sense to kickstart it thank you very much for watching everyone bye bye, -bye. walking route was that my phone i put my phone on loud volume accidentally <laughs>